guys today i want to share a very interesting story with you and um, so you all know that i had spent a few months of my life in banaras and banaras has this art form local which they call lacquer toys so these lacquer toys are wooden toys which are later hand printed and then they are transformed into beautiful cute toys so i visited uh, some of these clusters during my college days but since it was not my group's topic i did not had the opportunity to explore them so on my last day in banaras i decided to do that so i googled this cluster and i went to that place so then there i met this person named hemram and i asked him ki uncle please give me a tour uh, to this area please show me around so he gave me a tour of his own workshop and i was amused with all the toys that were there and uh, i asked him ki hemram uncle out of all these creations you have made over the years there has to be some special favorite to yours and then he said definitely i have one and come i'll show you so he took me to his office and he brought a box in front of me that wooden box inside that wooden box there were three dolls they were very usual looking dolls and i was uh, curious that why are these dolls so special to him so i looked at other toys they were even more amusing so i asked him that why are these so special i think those toys look even better so he said that these are not just made dolls there is some inspirational story connected to them so i asked him can you please explain me he said i'll give you a demo so that increased my curiosity so he took a thread out of his drawer and took the first doll inserted the thread through its ears and from one ear the thread was inserted and it came out from the other ear so i was you know there was a question mark written all over my face so then he picked up the other doll the again he inserted the thread and this time the thread came out of its mouth so i was a little awake this time and i said wait i know what is going to happen to the third doll so then i was like okay no i i don't want you to complete the story first i i don't want to make a fool out of myself so he took the third doll and again inserted the thread to its ears and i was consistently f- uh, trying to find out where is it going to come out from and to my surprise the thread did not come out i said okay so this increased my curiosity even more so he said i'll tell you so he said that this first doll is a person whom you tell something so it goes from one ear it comes out of the other he doesn't pay heed to it i said okay now i get it so he said that this is the second person whom you tell something and he spills it out to the world i said okay now i get it the third person is someone whom you tell something and he doesn't uh, tell it to anybody he keep it to himself right so he said right but you are still not close to the story and i was again curious so this actually my curiosity skyrocketed with this words and he told me that these are not different people he told me that these are three different qualities which should be there inside of one person so i was like how he said that if you become a person who knows what is told to them and they do when something is told to them they do not have to pay attention to it when something is told to them they have to spill it out to the world and when something is told to them they have to keep it to themselves so they have to choose what content is to be kept what is to be told and what is not to be paid attention to then you become the wisest person on earth the wisdom is yours and that my friends changed my whole life it actually changed me as a person i wanted to share this story with you because this experience is very close to my heart i still remember that person and the story in details so you also share these kind of stories in your group if you have so that we all learn from all these experiences of yours and thank you so much for watching love and respect